Alright lads, here we go with today's challenge rebuild. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day. If you are, let me know down in the comments. I want to know how your day's going. However, today we are doing another rebuild challenge on the channel. Yes, another rebuild challenge. We're trying to pop these out every single day now. Uh, this one was suggested by Khalil. Mustafi said to do the Everybody Eats Challenge. Every player on your team must play the same minutes and it must be a fantasy draft. So, we get ourselves a random team and we must have every single player on the roster, 1 through 15, play... A uh, certain amount of minutes. I think it's like 12 minutes a night if I'm not mistaken. Before we get too far in the video though, 72.3% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel. So please, go down there. Hit that red button, man. If you're watching the videos, I'm sure you're gonna like every single video I post. I post my league videos every single day. Most of the time I post two videos a day. So if you want to stay up to date with that, subscribe, click the bell, all that stuff. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, like the video. If you've already subscribed, like it. Liking it absolutely helps out the channel heaps. Cheers. So we need to get ourselves a team here for this fantasy draft and we're going to stop it right about now. We get the Memphis Grizzlies. Mmm, yeah, baby. Ooh, look at this. Seventh pick. Who's here? Ooh, ho, ho, ho. a player that we don't usually get. Awesome, we need a random team anyway, so we'll see who we get here. By the way, I've also been thinking about starting up a Discord server on Discord. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know down in those comments as well, because if you guys were, would be interested to join, I'll set up a Discord server and I might be probably more than likely uh, jump into there and talk with you guys. If that's something that interests you, let me know down in the comments down below. But we get ourselves Kevin Durant, D'Angelo Russell, Larry Markin, and Luke Kennard. Ooh, baby. Okay, so my plan for this rebuild is to make the most all-round team possible because we have to give everyone what, 12 minutes a night I think it ends up being. Mathematically, we just can't give everyone the same amount of minutes. Uh, so we're going to have to just spread it around as evenly as possible. So that's probably what we're going to do. 19 minutes to the starting five, six men, and then 18 to the rest of the team. So what I'm planning, we'll probably keep Kevin Durant. Uh, we'll be trading Larry Markkinen, Bobby Portis, all that type of stuff. Because we're going to try and create, like, still have, like, a starting five as such. But maybe either add players that could potentially start on teams to the bench or have bench people start. So I'm not too sure about that, but KD and D'Lo, I have a feeling I'm going to be keeping both of them. Unless D'Lo can get us someone crazy, then we might trade. So straight off the bat, Markkinen and Luke Kennard. Uh, I, I don't mind them. Sabonis so isn't bad. We have to go up Portis for that. I don't want to give up too many assets uh, for players. Like, if I can get two players that, like that, that's not bad. Brook Lopez and Melo. That's not too bad at all. I don't mind that. Because Brook Lopez could be a center that we use. Melo could be a small forward that we use. I'm fine. Bobby Portis, Lou Dort, same thing. If we can get two players that we can play and or and potentially, you know, use in a rotation, that would be absolutely amazing. And at that moment, Jeff Teague and Yarka Pertle, Yarka Pertle are looking like the best options here because we'll take that. Jeff T could be a backup point guard for D'Angelo. You know, uh, Furkan Korkmaz, Damian Jones. We have to... Come on, what am I doing? You have to change players' positions, Cameron. Damian Jones and Goga can get us Brunson and Noel. They, those are two players that we could definitely use in a team. That's for sure. Those are definitely two players that we can use. Uh, and also, then we can maybe... Oh, actually, if we can get rid of Pertle and Noel for maybe a center that's a little bit better or a play, two players that we could start, potentially, or Rudy Gay even... <laughs> Like, Rudy Gay's not that bad. I mean, we do ha we did just get Mellow, so we don't want two players that are kind of the same. So I might go Derek Favors. That's not that bad. We can get Obi Toppin and Frank Kaminsky. That's not that bad. That's not bad at all, you know? Obi Toppin. Mm. Okay, so we've got a starting... Oh, do we, would we, we need a starting two, man. I don't want to start D-Lo at the two. I want to start him at the one. But the bench, on the other hand, every other position... Seems okay. We'd still have to fill out, what, four more spots? So we can do that. That sh shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll just sign a couple of players for the minimum, just so we can make more trades. And, uh, yeah, we should be cracking right along, man. There's Mac Biombo in a first. That's definitely a player that we could either use to trade for someone or a player that we can bring off of our bench. That's for sure. We could actually even go... 
Uh, Kaminsky, Biombo. Actually, who's on a big deal that we've got down here that we're not going to be using? Trevor Ariza. Why are you making 2.7 mil, lad? You're going to get traded uh, with Frank Kaminsky here for maybe a player that we could trade up to get a better starting shooting guard or Alec Burks, like Alec Burks can do, I guess. Now, uh, there's definitely worse players than Alec Burks, bro. Biombo and Alec Burks, two players that we just traded for because we're trying to get that starting shooting guard right now. And we, if we can get that starting shooting card, we should be okay. I do see KCP. Oh, Marcus Smart. That's not bad. Marcus Smart could start. Like He could be a player that we start. He's not a bad contract either. He's an 80 overall. You know what? They're starting fire. Oh, power forward. Derek Favors. Do I want Derek Favors starting? If I go Derek Favors and Obi Toppin, we can get Whiteside and Randall. We have to give up uh, Jeff Teague as well. Like, if I can do that without giving up Jeff Teague, Siakam. Is it worth giving up Brook Lopez for? No. No, it's not. If I can do it without giving up Obi Toppin, maybe. Three milli. Could you uh, instead maybe take Jeff Teague? And then you give up Daniel Gafford? Would you guys do that? No. And then I'll chuck in that lottery protected first with that first and a second. And okay, we've just got ourselves Spicy P, which means we need our starting center now because we're having Obi Toppin start at this five. Okay. Yeah, we can then move Tyrese and Obi Toppin for Jarrett. Oh, Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside for sure, man. He's, he's actually a center that's on a steal of a deal, bro. We could start Hassan Whiteside. I'm fine with that. So this starting five, I'm fine with. Uh, then have Mello, Gafford. I'm going to trade Gafford. And then that means we're probably going to get rid of Trey Burke as well. Uh, I'm just trying to make this team as all-round as possible because everyone's getting the same amount of minutes, man. So if we go Trey Burke, Daniel Gafford, could you get us like a couple of players that we could play off of the bench that are decent, you know? I'm looking for probably a uh, center, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Dwight Howard and Ilya Sova, that, that works for me, man. That's also a power forward that we can use. I do like Dwight Howard, that's cool. Okay, so we have Melo, Dwight, Bronson, Ilya Sova. Okay, we need to just work on players 10 through 13. So we just need four more players, and we should be okay. Mo Wagner... We can definitely use, okay, so that's 10. We have 10 players. We need three more players now. Uh, if we go Garrett Temple and Gary Clark, could you get us another player here? Come on, so that's decent. I did see, ooh, Markeith Morris, not bad. Uh, Jaleel Okafor, that's someone we could do. We could probably move, uh, who did we just get? I've already forgotten who we just got, but we can move him to the power forward, who we just got, Mo Wagner. That's it. We can move Mo to the power forward. He can be a power forward for us. And then we can go Pat Connington and eat one more for Bismack Biombo. Oi, oi. I like seeing that. Or even a TJ Warren, boys. Uh, or even a Trey Burke. We'll take Trey Burke, I reckon. Now we just need one more player. We need one more freaking player that we can play. And then we've got ourselves a rotation. And we got a... Ooh, Pau Gasol. I want to see if Pau can get us another chip. So, for the challenge, here's the rotation. D'Lo, Marcus Smart, Kevin Durant, Pascal Siakam, Hassan Whiteside, Melo, Mo Wagner, Dwight Howard, Trey Burke, Jalen Brunson, Ilya Sova, Jaleel Okafor, Pau Gasol. We have a lot of bigs coming off of this bench, but it's alright. We are also running KD, D'Lo, and Siakam as our three scoring options. We're running a balanced system. Only makes sense we have balanced minutes. And the Memphis Grizzlies are the projected, oh my goodness, 21st seed. Let's just see. I want to see. I'm curious. If we go through here, we won a game somehow. We won two games. Three games. Hoi. Uh, automatically, manually, bang, bang, all good. Bro, this, this, this strategy kind of works. We're winning games. <laughs> this kind of works, boys. Like, okay, never mind. I spoke way too soon. Yeah, no, we're losing games now. We won one, two. Okay, uh, okay. We're currently sitting outside the playoffs here. And the Lakers are the best team in the conference. So if we, can we go up against the Lakers anytime soon? Or has that already happened? Uh, it's down here. Yeah, too late in the season for us, to be honest. Okay, so who's the next best team? Trailblazers. When do we go up against the Blazers? We don't. Okay. Rockets. 
No. We do go up against the Suns, who are up there. So we'll play this game. See what we can do with our team that is uh, got all the same amount of minutes. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't know if this is too glitchy or not. <laughs> Let's have a squeeze, shall we? And we lost the tip. Okie doke. That's how you want to start the game, don't you? We have Marcus Smart on Derek White. Then White side in the paint. And we instantly already foul someone. Awesome. Let's see how many times our starters change. Our players change, eh? I don't know what the rotation looks like. So I'm assuming players just come in and out all the time. I'm just assuming that. So we might go until the first interchange, eh? Hey? That sounds like a plan. KD is out on the floor. He can shoot that. Bang. Bucket. Wet. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we play as Marcus Smart on Derek White. Why is Derek White their primary ball handler? And we just got another... We just got a block. And by... An, I didn't mean another block, but like, we just got a block. Ooh. KD can shoot that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Green bean, boys. Green bean. All right. I'm, I'm not doing that again. That was cringy. <laughs> So far, the starters are still out here. So we're still playing. So far, the, if the starters are still out, we keep playing. As soon as the starters get subbed out, we 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 we, we stop playing. All right? How about it? How about it? Surely they keep uh, bloody KD in for a while, right? He can shoot that. He can shoot that. No, we can't. Okay. Kevin Durant, who can't shoot a spin around fadeaway three point shot. What the heck is going on? Lamelo Ball and John Collins. I don't know who that is. I guess that's Cam Johnson on the same team. That's not bad, you know. Let's just lob it up to no one. That's lovely. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love 2K. I love that. Oh, oh, that was a fancy pass. Very fancy. A very fancy pass. Come give me a screen up here, Hassan. Even though we do have the big man on me. Ooh. Oh, bounce pass. Beautiful. I love to see that, D'Angelo. I'm surprised no one has subbed in yet. <laughs> I'm really surprised no one from our team has tried to come in yet. That was good defense. That was Okay, we don't have the ball right now. Okay, yeah, no, we do. We do. Marcus Smart now to D'Angelo Russell in the corner. Wet. Frick. He fricky bricked it. He bricked it. <laughs> And by he, I mean I did. Oh, and we almost got the steal too. We almost got the steal. Reaching. Reaching, baby. Okay, yeah. Surely we're making a substitution here because if we keep going, do we have all the starters in still? Oh my goodness, we still have all the starters in. This is weird. Why are they still in? Surely, like, the game, surely they've, like, reached their 12 minute mark already. <laughs> I think it's 12. No, it's 18, isn't it? 18 and 17 minute marks. Like, surely they've already hit that bucket. Wait. Wait. Oh, freaking hell, KD. What the heck, bro? Mello's shooting that. Oh, my goodness. He missed. Kevin Durant. There you go. There's your ball. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, get around him, lads. Get around him. John Collins had to foul. KD's too quick. Too quick. Bang. Bucket. Shit. Oh, and there's substitutions. All right, we're stopping now. We're just going to sim to the end, see what happens. We actually do end up winning that game by a single point. Uh, John Collins did drop 24. Jaleel Okafor dropped 19 points. Holy crap. See, look at this. Look at these minutes, lads. 10 and 9 minutes a night. Oh, my goodness. Power only played 7. But that's all right. That's crazy. All right, let's simulate the season. See if we can make the playoffs. If we make playoffs, it's a dub. And I'm assuming with a 28 and 54 record, we we, we, we don't make the playoffs. <laughs> just just got a sneaking suspicion. LeBron averaged a 30 point triple double, you know, as he does in 2K, and uh, we definitely don't get any awards. That's dope. That's awesome, man. We, we definitely don't get anyone all NBA teams, and we don't make the freaking playoffs. Let's have a squiz where these stats are. 13 points was our leading scorer with Kevin Durant. Let's see how many minutes he averaged. He actually averaged 19 minutes a game. What? Oh, yeah, because we played him like... Hold up. Who played 20 what? D'Angelo and Marcus Smart played 20 minutes... Can't be having that. No way. Can't, cannot be having that. KD did score the most, though. Most rebounds was Hassan Whiteside. Most assists was D'Angelo Russell. Uh, most steals, Marcus Smart. Most blocks, Hassan Whiteside. Jeez. 
How about it? How about it? Let's just see how the team went. Maybe we weren't as bad. We were the fourth worst offense. And our defense... Surely our defense was alright. Because that doesn't get affected, right? We are the 10th worst defense. Okay. Fair enough. And our differential was the... Uh, one of the bottom teams. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Well, let's just see who wins the championship. Not sure who. Fantasy draft. Let's see who wins the championship. Because we didn't make the playoffs, that's for sure. And it is the Milwaukee Bucks with Damian Lillard. Fair enough. We have MPJ, Biombo. They have an alright team. Good on them. Good on them. Alright. We tried putting together as good of a team as we could that we could come off of our bench. Like... The team's pretty deep. It's like 13 people deep, so uh, I'm kind of upset that we didn't, but at the same time, it's almost like an impossible challenge. So yeah, lads, that's going to do it for today's challenge rebuild. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. If you haven't already, be sure to go subscribe to the channel if you are new and made it this far in the video, because trust me, if you made it this far in the video, you'll like almost all of my videos. So please, just go down there, subscribe if you made it this far, and uh, yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. Also, let me know down in the comments if... Uh, you guys want to see me make a Discord server? Because I've been thinking about it, and I'm not sure if I want to do it yet or not. So if that's something that appeals to you, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. But that's going to do it, lads. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!